Our air defenses take part in the third day of military maneuvers using modern weapons and their military exercises. Anan affirms disarming terrorist groups is a vital issue as Saleh criticizes the interference of some countries and the Syrian crisis. Two terrorists admit to forming armed terrorist groups perpetrating acts of killing and kidnapping. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our news for today. Our armed forces have continued their military exercises as the air defense has conducted a military drill with real combat missiles efficiently and skillfully using modern weapons. The air defenses yesterday carried out a military exercise using combat missiles and anti-craft artillery to repel an assumed air and ground attack, emulating a real combat situation. They showed high efficiency at locating and destroying proposed enemy targets and a distinguished skill in using modern sophisticated weapons. The exercise was attended by the Deputy Commander of the Army and Armed Forces, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, General Daoud Rajha, and a number of General Command Officers. General Rajha praised the performance of the air defenses and their high morale as well as their determination to perform their duty. Minister Rajaha underlined the importance of such maneuvers in testing the Syrian forces and their combat abilities. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Bogdanov called for a new meeting for the work group on Syria. In a statement to Interfax News Agency, Bogdanov said that his country does not object to the idea of holding the meeting in Geneva, pointing out that the discussions with representatives of the Syrian opposition focus on the mechanisms of implementing an Annan six-point plan in order to start a political process which must lead to a peaceful solution. Moscow renewed yesterday its rejection of any foreign interference in the country and called for a political solution during a meeting with a delegation of Syrian opposition. <laughs> Iranian Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Salehi has stressed that the ominous interference of some foreign countries in the crisis in Syria has caused the crisis to continue, despite the constructive steps taken by the Syrian leadership to meet the demands of the Syrian people. In a joint press conference with the UN envoy to Syria, Kofi Annan, in Tehran yesterday, Saleh said, political issues are complicated, and the whole region as well as the world are on the brink of sensitive developments. All efforts should unite to prevent the spread of the crisis in Syria and limit its repercussions. He stressed that we should not allow the situation to get worse. The Iranian minister pointed out that the Syrian government has undertaken to fulfill its promises in meeting all the legitimate demands of the Syrian people and has taken tangible steps in this respect. On his part, Anan said his talks in Tehran aimed at ensuring Iran's support for a peaceful solution to the crisis in Syria. He said the international organization is working hard to ensure an end to violence by all sides. We have said, and added, that if we want violence to end, we should talk to all those who carry arms that they must stop killing innocent people. 
if we do not make a real effort to resolve this issue peacefully and it were to get out of hand and spread to the region, it can lead to consequences that none of us uh, could imagine. And so let's work together to bring peace and stability to Syria. Salehi has stressed in an interview with Reuters in Abu Dhabi yesterday that arming terrorist groups in Syria leads to the deterioration of the situation in the country. He reiterated his country's support for Anan's plan. Salehi said, a lot of weapons are being smuggled into Syria and there is an influx of people who belong to extremist groups into the country from various states and who are carrying arms against the government. This leads to the deterioration of the situation, Salehi affirmed. The Iranian foreign minister said his country supported the idea of dialogue between the government and the opposition to get out of that crisis. An armed terrorist group assassinated Dr. Abdel Basit Arja in Aleppo. A source at the province told Sana that the armed terrorist group monitored Dr. Arja and opened fire at his car. Dr. Arja was hospitalized, but he passed away of his wounds. Authorities and border guards have foiled infiltration attempts by armed terrorist groups coming from Lebanon into Syria from several locations in Tel Kalakh and Homs countryside. Huge losses were reported among the terrorists. Sana correspondent quoted the source at the province as saying that the terrorist groups opened fire on the sites of border guards on the Syrian side in Jisr Qumar, Jisr Abu Swaid, Harmush crossings, Al Armuta and Larida Nora and Dalia and tried several times to infiltrate to the Syrian territories by several vehicles equipped with machine guns. The source added that the clash resulted in the killing and injury of a number of terrorists. One person of the competent authorities was wounded. Terrorists Ayman Mohammed Rabia and Yasser Fawzi Al Abd admit forming an armed terrorist group that has committed acts of killing and kidnapping, spreading panic among citizens and worshippers in mosques, including the assassination of businessman Mohammed Ramadan in Aleppo. <laughs> Taha Mustafa Karthoum gave me a gun and he asked me to recruit some people to pledge allegiance to him as an Islamist emir. We met with some of the members of the Qaeda organization from Lebanon and Iraq and we offered them the pledge of loyalty for the establishment of the Islamic State. My religious background grew after I watched the Safa and the Wissal satellite TV channels. We established a brigade called Rijal Allah al-Ahrar or the Free Men of God. Abu Omar provided us with the explosive devices to carry out the acts of sabotage. We planted one of the explosive devices in a garbage container near the West Mosque to target the worshippers after leaving the mosque on Friday and to accuse the security authorities of committing this act. We also detonated a booby trap car which we had parked in a car wash station in the Sukaria neighborhood in Aleppo causing some casualties. The terrorist Hani Badawi was watching the whereabouts of the businessman Muhammad Ramadan. We together with an armed group left to kill Muhammad Ramadan in front of his house in the new Aleppo district. I formed and led a terrorist group called the Abu Omar Battalion. The group called God's Free Men asked us on the website to help in killing Muhammad Ramadan. Then a member of the Istanbul Council asked us to delete the news off of the website. And Taha Khathoum asked me to meet with him in the Ferdos area to plan for another assassination, this time the assassination of Sinan. After I collected all the information and the men, I wanted to kill and I headed with an armed group and we intercepted Sinan's car and we killed him. <laughs> Finally, with the aim of boosting culture among a wide spectrum of society, a book fair was organized by the Ministry of Culture and Cooperation with the private sector at the Bolivar at the Four Seasons Hotel in Damascus.
In an unprecedented move by the civil society and the private sector, a big commercial compound like the Four Seasons opened its gates to host a book fair which was organized in cooperation with the Syrian General Book Commission of the Ministry of Culture. I'm so grateful for the civil society and the private sector which made this good gesture of opening the cafes and the big malls for such a cultural phenomenon. This cooperation is so much important. This fair is a new experience for the Ministry of Culture. This is the first time that a hall which belongs to a private sector. The Boulevard at the Four Seasons holds a fair to display the products of the Ministry of Culture. More than 250 titles of various domains were exhibited in the fair. The subjects cover Arab cultural heritage, education, music, translation, novels and criticism, in addition to children's books and scientific books, as well as magazines and periodicals. Uh, we are looking for the, this exhibition that we want people to again go back to deal with the book that we already, uh, everybody from the children to the adults, they already leave, leave the book and go to the internet. Uh, we would like to say to the, all these people that please go back to the book and the book you will find uh, a kind of entertainment when you read the book that can find your, uh, yourself. Uh, we, we organize this book fair to make our books available for a wide uh, spectrum of uh, readers. Uh, in our society. We have uh, publications uh, about literature, about uh, literature criticism and uh, novels, uh, stories, short stories, uh, poetry, etc. The fair constitutes a great chance for the readers as it presents 40 and up to 70 percent discount on the prices of the exhibited books. Well, this went our news bulletin for today. For more information about Syria and the world, you can visit our...